something to believe in. What is good, OD fam? Welcome back to the channel. We have some more Gotham Knights content for you guys. And before I even start, I want to give a huge shout out to all the people who watched and supported my last video on the best elemental build in the game, featuring my favorite character, Robin. Like I mentioned in the video, I feel like Robin is definitely underrated and it feels good to shed some light on how OD he can actually be. But today, we're going to be showcasing the build from my second favorite character, which will no doubt change your opinion once again about who is the best Gotham Knight. So if you enjoy videos like this and want to stay up to date on all things Gotham Knights, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get it. So in a game like Gotham Knights where you have four different playable characters, it's only natural that at some point you want to rank them or try to figure out overall which one is best for you. Now my opinion has changed so many times throughout my time with the game, but today I can confidently say that Batgirl is my second favorite character. Not only does she have the best combination of momentum abilities in the entire game, but she is also the only character that no doubt feels the closest to the Batman Arkham games that we know and love, with abilities like the beatdown, the use of batarangs, and even her traversal all give me nostalgia from my favorite Batman game, with the Gotham Knights twist of course. She is also the most versatile character of the entire bunch, excelling in all aspects of gameplay, whether it's stealth with her hacking abilities like Digital Ghosts and Hacking Overload, melee combat which grants her extra crit chance and crit damage on perks like critical expertise and critical focus, and even range combat with the Batarang being the second most useful range weapon in the game. So if I haven't convinced you just yet that Batgirl should be a major contender for the top spot in your ranking, let's break down the build to show you how powerful she can be. Starting with the Momentum Ability Suit. Now in all honesty, this is not my first choice when it comes to the suit for this build, but with target farming being so random, this is the second best option, and it does mesh well with the build and the playstyle. Mostly because of the talent, TKO Momentum, which will increase our momentum buildup after knocking out an enemy, and since Batgirl hits extremely hard, this will synergize perfectly to gain momentum faster so we can access her OD momentum abilities, especially Tanfa Jackhammer, which will one-shot most enemies and entire waves. Now just to mention the suit I recommend the most for Batgirl, just in case you guys were lucky enough to get the blueprint, it's called the Escalation Suit, and the reason it's perfect for Batgirl is because of the talent Ruthless Power, which grants us extra damage for ditching out critical damage. Moving on to our melee weapon, we have the High Abilities Tanfa, which is really important because not only does it provide heals as we use our momentum abilities, but it will also increase our base damage and provide additional momentum buildup when taking out enemies with momentum abilities. So just think about that for one second. When we use the ability Tanfa Jackhammer, we're going to be gaining all these buffs, some of them multiple times in just one use since we're taking out multiple enemies. And that's what I mean by synergize. Everything you do using this build will benefit or synergize well with something else. Whether it's taking out enemies in melee combat to gain more momentum, or using that momentum to proc an ability to wipe entire waves, or using any ability to gain extra damage or health while in combat. This build just meshes very well with anything you choose to do in game. And that brings us to our final piece, the Jumpstart Batarangs, which provide even more synergy. Just like the Escalation Suit I recommended, these will increase our damage when dealing critical damage. So my preference in playstyle is to mix in range combat during melee combat as it provides a nice flow when taking out enemies. And since we already have such high crit chance and crit damage on this bill, it makes the use of these Batarangs really effective in not only taking out enemies, but also proccing all the benefits of the bill. And now to go over our final bill stats, our melee weapon finishes with 1013 base damage with 67% crit chance and 231% crit damage and our Batarangs have 36% crit chance and 260% crit damage. 
Once again, these values could and should be higher. I'm just having a really hard time getting fully maxed out mods. But to quickly go over the mods, we have all legendary health mods on the suit. I went full crit damage on my Tanfa, and I did a mixture of crit chance and crit damage on the Batarangs. So listen, man, I really hope you guys try and enjoy this build. It's definitely a nice change from my Status Master Robin build, but in my opinion, it's just as OD. My goal is to share a build for each character before Heroic Assault drops next week. So be on the lookout for my Red Hood build next, and we'll finish with Nightwing. And let me know in the comments, man, if you enjoyed the build and if it makes you rethink your ranking for each night. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the content. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.